Here's my 80-foot uh, ramp to get down to the dock. Pretty typical way to make that aluminum. This one has a few different design concepts. The pilings are existing. See the ramp 52-foot section is cantilevered out 12 feet. So it pivots on the pilings. It's actually hinged there in the center, which... Uh, you can see this has to roll down here. But what this does, this 28 foot section here is attached to the 52 foot with that 12 foot cantilever. All that weight is helping to keep the weight off the dock. Uh, I don't know if you can see it, but most people, uh, they, their docks are tipped or sagging in the middle because of the weight of the ramp. And they have to build a pier out this way and just do the whole thing without a pier makes a long walk <laughs> but you can see I have the wheels here and then there's some stakes here to keep the keep it in place if the wind picks up it normally doesn't uh, doesn't need them there's two down at the end here so what I've done also is to get a round handrail I've uh, got a piece of channel here and welded it uh, upside down rather and then have a piece of inch and a half uh, tube welded in that and that gives you a really nice surface for walking up when this is really steep. This little screw here um, holds this piece of conduit. Actually there's three pieces of conduit. There's a, I think a three quarter and then inch and a quarter and this is like inch and a half and they can actually sit on that. You can see where it slides, slides in and out. It makes a really nice closure for that opening. A lot of people put a piece of chain in there but uh, high tide it would be sagging, sagging down. This is a pretty firm, firm way to do this. So the ramp is uh, 48 feet uh, 48 inches wide, rather, and uh, 80 feet long, and uh, we've had it here 12 years and worked rather well with this cantilever design.